Good morning. I uh, will just um, wait for people to to come online. I think we've just just turned eight o'clock, and uh, we're going to be starting our morning prayer in one second. Tuesday the 24th of August 2021 and it's the feast day of Bartholomew, Bartholomew the Apostle. I'll just give people a moment or two to, to catch up with the fact that we've gone live on Facebook. So let us begin our service of morning prayer this morning, Tuesday the 24th of August. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, Sovereign God, Creator of all. To you be glory and praise forever. You founded the earth in the beginning, and the heavens are the work of your hands. In the fullness of time you made us in your image. And in these last days you have spoken to us in your Son, Jesus Christ, the Word made flesh. As we rejoice in the gift of your presence among us, let the light of your love always shine in our hearts. Your Spirit ever renew our lives, and your praises ever be on our lips. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The appointed psalm for today is Psalm 86. Incline your ear, O Lord, and answer me, for I am poor and in misery. Preserve my soul, for I am faithful. Save your servant. For I put my trust in you. Be merciful to me, O Lord, for you are my God. I call upon you all day long. Gladden the soul of your servant, for to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. For you, Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in steadfast love to all who call upon you. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer and listen to the voice of my supplication. In the day of my distress I will call upon you, for you will answer me. Among the gods there is none like you, O Lord, nor any works like yours. All nations you have made shall come and worship you, O Lord, and shall glorify your name. For you are great and do wonderful things. You alone are God. Teach me your way, O Lord, and I will walk in your truth. Knit my heart to you, that I may fear your name. I will thank you, O Lord my God, with all my heart, and glorify your name for evermore. For great is your steadfast love towards me. You have delivered my soul from the depths of the grave. O oh God, the proud rise up against me, and a ruthless horde seek after my life. They have not set you before their eyes. But you, Lord, are gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and full of kindness and truth. 
turn to me and have mercy upon me. Give your strength to your servant and save the child of your handmaid. Show me a token of your favour, that those who hate me may see it and be ashamed, because you, O Lord, have helped and comforted me. God of mercy, who in your great love drew your Son from the depths of the pit, bring your people from death to life, that we may rejoice in your compassion and praise you now and for ever. Amen. Before our New Testament reading, excuse me, <clears throat> before our New Testament reading, we have the following canticle. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me. He has sent me to bring good news to the oppressed, to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to those who are bound, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favour to comfort all who mourn, to give them a garland instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the mantle of praise instead of a faint spirit, that they may be called oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. For as the earth puts forth her blossom, and as seeds in the garden spring up, so shall the Lord God make righteousness and praise blossom before all nations. You shall be called priests of the Lord. They shall speak of you as ministers of our God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. And so to our reading from the New Testament, which is from John 1. Verses 43 to 51. John 1, beginning at verse 43. The next day, Jesus decided to go to Galilee. He found Philip and said to him, Follow me. Now Philip was from Bethsaida, the city of Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathanael and said to him, we have found him about whom Moses in the law and also the prophets wrote, Jesus, son of Joseph, from Nazareth. Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. When Jesus saw Nathanael coming towards him, he said of him, Here is truly an Israelite in whom there is no deceit. Nathanael asked him, Where did you come to know me? Jesus answered, I saw you under the fig tree before Philip called you. Nathanael replied, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Jesus answered, Do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than these. And he said to him, Very truly, I tell you, you will see heaven opened and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. Lead me in the path of your commandments. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your psalm, of your law. Our Gospel Canticle is taken from Psalm 119. We come now to our prayers for today. We will bring uh, in, uh, prayers of intercession for the day and everything that lies ahead today, for the world and its needs, and in particular for uh, the situation in Kabul in Afghanistan as the air bridge uh, continues and for the church around the world and uh, a church here in England and in Radcliffe. Let us pray. Lord thank you for this new day 
Thank you that we begin our day with you on our hearts, with our praise of you on our lips, with you with us. We thank you for the opportunities that lie afresh for us every day when we awake. Lord, in everything that we have to do today, all the tasks that lie ahead, as well as those moments of relaxation, in the conversations that we have, in the thoughts that we have, we pray that you are with us and would guard our hearts and minds. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we bring to you situations that are on our heart today around the world. We pray for the continued efforts in Haiti, the recovery of bodies in the rubble from the earthquake, for the care that is being given to those who are injured in hospitals, for the emergency services and those trying to restore water, power and a sense of normality to the communities there. Be with them, Lord, in their efforts. Give them strength. Give them the tenacity that they need to power through to continue the tasks that they have. And be with them in their mourning and their grief. Be their comfort and their rock. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we lift up to you the situation in Afghanistan. We pray in particular for Kabul, the airport at Kabul, as the rescue and evacuation continue. And as world leaders continue to discuss the potential to extend the period for helping people to leave. Lord, we ask that those leaders act with compassion and wisdom, that they seek the right advice and then they follow the right advice. We pray for the troops on the ground from the different countries. We pray for them in their tiredness, in their fear. That at those moments of great tension, they can think and act clearly as they're trained to do. And Lord, for everybody caught up in that violent and tragic situation, we ask for your mercy, your presence amongst them, your comfort and your blessing. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for your church, your church around the world, your church here in England, your church here in Radcliffe. Strengthen each and every one of us. Strengthen your leaders. Put it on our hearts to follow your commandments, to love our neighbours as ourselves. 
to show compassion and mercy, to be your hands and your feet wherever there is need. Help us today to be the light to others. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we bring together our prayers in the collect. Almighty and everlasting God, who gave to your Apostle Bartholomew grace truly to believe and to preach your word, grant that your church may love that word which he believed and may faithfully preach and receive the same. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. And so, as our Saviour taught us, together we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and for ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining us in our service of morning prayer this morning. On Thursday evening at 8.15, Lindy and Roy will be leading us in our service of evening prayer.